Hello, my name is Louis Lavoie. I'm a local artist, and I want to personally invite you to be a part of this project. It's a part of Shine a Light on Anti-Semitism, and we are going to be creating a big, beautiful menorah. And we want you to put your saying, your thoughts, or even just kind of have fun kind of decorating one of these little tiles. Fantastic. I do these things in the past. If you look behind me, we did one for the Tree of Life and I had everybody paint a, uh, an animal picture. This is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a, a, a mural made up of mostly sayings. So um, I'm going to walk you through a few little tips here on what you're going to need to do to, to make this thing go smoothly. And hopefully everyone will have fun and they won't feel stressed out. So number one, we are going to be making the, the, our sayings with these paint pens. And the paint pens are full of acrylic paint. And you gotta, I don't know if you can hear it, shake it because there's a little ball bearing that kind of moves back and forth, forth and shakes up the paint in there. As well as the tip is spring loaded. So you can, whoa, see it, it all leaks out. So you gotta be real careful on, on pushing down on, your, on the spring so that you don't get paint all over the place. So we're dealing with, we're dealing with actual paint um, in these pens. And, um, and so if you do make a little mistake, you can take a little wet uh, Kleenex or something like that and just quickly wipe the paint off, you know, and start over again. I've, I did, I've done that many times. And I'll, I'll do my best to fix up any little mistakes in there too, to make it all look really good. Okay, so you're going to need a piece of paper or something to draw on. So I just have a little little piece of paper here and you'll need a couple of, you know, just something to draw with. So I got a Sharpie and a pencil. What I am going to do is I'm going to come up with a couple of ideas and hopefully it'll illustrate, you know, some, some good points. So I'm going to just trace around my tile and this will allow me to see how much room I'm going to have to work with. So I'm going to do two, I'm going to do three, three tiles. Okay. Now, easy, simple saying, I think, is the word peace. So I'm going to just write out the word peace. Okay, peace. And the, just kind of lightly draw, maybe put like a sun rays behind it. So sunshine, shining behind peace. Okay, now peace is shalom. So I'm gonna write the word shalom out. H, I'm gonna go lowercase again. And um, I'm just going to write it out. I might as well do my third one as, you know, in Hebrew, Hebrew um, calligraphy. Okay, so we'll do the... Um, I had to look this up on Google. So, and then there's a little tip here, it comes down and bends around like that. Okay. Um, different ways of saying it. Here's my tile. I'm gonna take my paint pen, shake it real good. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna use gray because gray, gray is pretty well a good color that's gonna go good with any one of these tiles. So if you got gray, it's a good one. So let's do the word shalom. I'm gonna go with shalom on this one here. Okay. Got lots of time to do it. Just size it out a little bit. 
lowercase. I don't really do a lot of lowercase letters, so I need to work on it a little bit. Okay, I'll just kind of decorate a little bit here. And pen here. And the other color that goes good with this is kind of this peachy color. So I'm going to use a peachy color on it. Just, uh, and there's my tile. I'm expecting probably a lot of shaloms. Okay, give your pen a quick shake. I'm going to use blue for this one. Just make sure it's working. Okay. All right. Okay, so we are going to do the Hebrew letters. This is Mim or Mim. And you got to forgive me. I'm doing it backwards. I know it goes from right to left in Hebrew. So we're going left to right. Okay. So got the first... Actually, the last letter first, okay? The next letter is, is, uh, I think it's, I think it's Vaughn. Okay, so we could put Vaughn there. Little tip there. All right. Uh, the next letter, which I think is the second letter, actually, is... Lamb, land, I don't know. I'm probably getting these letters saying I'm wrong. But I think this is land, it's like a shepherd's hook. And then sheen. Which is, I think, the first letter. So we did it backwards. Little tip there. Okay. Put a little decorations like this. Okay, just decorate it up. And I'm going to put a little menorah right beside it. Sometimes keeping your tile looking simple is better than overdoing it with too much decoration in that. Is you don't have to say something, you can just, you know, draw a little picture on there. So I'm gonna draw my family all right so i got two boys so i'm going to draw a little stick people and this will be symbolic of my family and uh, i have a daughter so we'll just use the international symbol for bathroom for daughter girls and then i'll put myself in the middle And I'm going to put my wife, oh, she's a little bigger than me. My wife's not as big as I am, but her personalities makes up for that. Okay. There's my family. <laughs> and we're all together. Now I'm going to put little hearts over here as well. So... I'll put three of them. All right, and I'm gonna take that peachy color again, and I'm going to add a second color to it. Just fill it in, just. Okay. So I can put a couple of dots on top just to kind of balance it off.
All right, you don't have to do much. That's about it. So hopefully these tips help and um, I look forward to seeing what everyone came up with.